I asked our film critics, Rosa Para, Alfredo Galindo on the latinoslant.com that write for us, what are your Oscar picks? Here are my Oscar picks. And we got some interesting choices. We're getting there towards the end of the award season for 2023 and all the movies that you uh, perhaps love, maybe some not so much. I mean, who are you rooting for? Do you care? Uh, comment below. Definitely comment and let me know. We're going to run through our uh, choices for the 15 major categories. That's what we're going to do here in this video, the 15 major categories. So let's go on over to thelatinoslant.com and you have it there right on our website, Slant Film Critics Oscar Picks. The award season for the year 2023 is coming to an end with the 96th Annual Academy Awards. So we decided to give our picks in the 15 major categories. We uh, get a little unconventional in our picks, but you can see our fun thought process. We ask Rosa Para, Alfredo Galindo, and myself for our choices. They give them and and more, okay? Um, one big thing we can uh, agree on is Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer, nominated for 13 categories, including director, uh, Christopher Nolan and his biopic of the father of the atomic bomb, J. Robert Oppenheimer. Let's go now to Rosa Parra's picks. And I think it's interesting what she has to say. Because she just gets right to it. She cuts right to it. She's very honest, right? I think this will be an Oppenheimer suite. I'm guessing it'll win the following. Best picture, director, supporting actor, actor, score, cinematography, and editing. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, in the next categories, let's see who she has for these next categories here, guys. Um, you know, I can't say that she's wrong. I can't. It's a pretty, it seems like a very safe bet. Uh, it also, too, is a kind of a, a well-earned bet as well in regards to um, Oppenheimer. It's just, it's just a superior film. It's an amazing film. Okay, let's get to uh, her other choices here. Best Actress, Lily Gladstone. Supporting Actress, Devon J. Randolph. Joy Randolph. Best Animated, The Boy and the Heron. International, Zone of Interest. Screenplay, Anatomy of a Fall. Adapted, American Fiction. Visuals, Godzilla. Song, What Was I Made For? By Billie Eilish of uh, Barbie fame. So listen, I mean, those are some good choices. Uh, I'm in agreements with a lot of them. Uh, we're going to go now to, uh, let's talk about really quickly, Anatomy of a Fall. Uh, incredible film. I myself enjoyed it more than I enjoyed um, um, Oppenheimer. I think Oppenheimer is just like, you know, on scope cinematically, uh, just an amazing film to watch on the big screen. But on other levels, acting screenplay direction uh, anatomy of a fall is my one of my top favorite films of last year okay so let's talk about this film for a second already a winner at the palm d'or golden globe award for best screenplay the season award for best film anatomy of fall has overperformed this entire award season at the oscars it made not only the long list for best picture but also the shorter list for best director justine trient Yes, she's an incredible, incredible director. Okay, let's go to my choices. Oh, buddy, here, <laughs> here we go. This is going to be a little fun. All right, best picture, Oppenheimer. Director, Nolan. I gave, I gave, I gave you guys a little bit more here. Who could upset? In my opinion, the upset would be Justine Triant for Anatomy of the Fall. Best actress. I'm going with, with my heart. Totally going with my heart. Sandra Huller. Anatomy of Fall, best performance, male or female of the year. I don't give a shit. <laughs> she is just on another league with that film. But who will win? Lily Gladstone's going to win. I think Lily's uh, performance is um, is definitely um, intriguing. It's probably one of the best things about Killers of the Flower Moon. Um, but when I compared to Sandra's work, there's no comparison. However, I just think that um, the, uh, the trend is with Lily at this point. That, that, that's, uh, that's just my opinion. Okay, best actor, Killian Murphy. 
Uh, I think it's just hands down. I, I, it was maybe Giamatti, and then that just kind of went away. And, and I love Giamatti's in, in his film. Um, supporting actress, Devon, Divine Joy Randolph. That's where gonna, they're going to award the uh, the Holdovers film. They'll award it big time with that award. Who may win? Who may win? Listen, the fact that she's nominated America Ferreira and Best Supporting Actress and the fact that she gave this, uh, <clears throat> you know, huge monologue performance that everyone in Hollywood went gaga over, uh, the tide might have been, might have turned. You know, she did win an award. Uh, they created an award for her, I believe. And she, was it a uh, seen her award? I don't know what it was, but. That could be the upset. That could be the upset. And uh, knowing Hollywood, I wouldn't be surprised. But that's just my thought. The supporting actor, Robert Downey Jr., hands down. Animated film. Um, the Boy and the Heron, hands down. Uh, who could up upset Robot Dreams? I have re I have reviews of each film on the on, on the channel here. I absolutely loved both films. Both films took me into a world. That I was mesmerized. I was, um, I was, uh, I felt uh, just a beauty for and a sadness for. I, I think in scope, though, the boy in the heron is just out of this world. I don't believe they're going to give to Spider Verse again. It already won Best Picture for the first film, and it's got a third film. So they're like, well, let's just wait until the third film and maybe award them for uh, for that last one. So that's my thoughts on that. Okay, now we go to international film. I actually think the, the Society of the Snow from Spain is going to win. Uh, that's where I differ from uh, from Rosa. She seems to think that uh, Zone of Interest is a lock. I don't think it is. I've seen the Zone of Interest. Um, Society of the Snow has been picking up a lot of momentum. I've seen both films. Uh, it's interesting because both films are true stories, right? Both films uh, are a uh, one's a very one's a very uh, you know kind of well both are just once in a generation and hopefully never happens again uh, tragedies with zone of interest and the Holocaust uh, and it's a very it, it it it's 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 an incredible looking film it's it's a terrifying film zone of interest. I just think with Society of the, Snow, of the Snow, it's personally more arresting. It's more vulnerable. You, you're taken in with these with these characters trying to survive. I, it, it was just that that was that's what really hooked me in, as well as all the cinematography and the the beauty of the direction. Uh, yeah, and the zone of interest was, you know, uh, if anything, was a little too disconnected for me. Uh, which I know they wanted you to do. They did not want you to care for the lead characters because at the end of the day, the lead characters were monsters. They performed monstrous acts. Okay, now where are we? Best screenplay, Anatomy of a Fall. That's where I think it's going to get awarded. Uh, Justine's going to get her award. It is a courtroom drama uh, done like no other performed like no other, directed like no other, and uh, it kept me on the edge of my seat. I did not know who to believe. Justine, fantastic. Adapted screenplay, American fiction, Cord Jefferson. This is where I think it'll has its best chance to win, and Cord coming out of nowhere is has been really impressive. People have been really uh, loving uh, the film and loving him. Uh, it is a huge, huge swipe, a huge um, what do you call it? Uh, uh, just slap in the face of liberal Hollywood. And you know what? They like that. They like that guilt. They like feeling that. <laughs> but it's done so well. Who may win? Barbie. This might be the only big award that Barbie will get that night. Greta Gerwig and Noah Baumbach give them their uh, their uh, their moments there. And let's see what what did uh. What did uh, American Fiction? Um, she went with American Fiction as well. I, I think it's American Fiction. And let's give Godzilla Godzilla some love here, which which it deserves. It should have gotten more nominations. 
nominated for Best Visual Effects, marks the first film in the franchise to be nominated for an Academy Award and the first Japanese film to receive a nomination in the visual effects category. Uh, okay, I'm not done. So yeah, visual effects, Godzilla, hands down. Best song, The Fire Inside, that's just me. Diane Warren, who will win the Billie Eilish from Barbie. Best score. I think John Williams is, I think they're going to give it to John Williams. I think they know that this is probably his last hurrah and the Academy will give it to him. Who might win the deceased Robbie Robertson for Killers of the Flower Moon. Both um, I would be happy with. I did, I did like the music of Killers of the Flower Moon. Cinematography, Oppenheimer. Who might win? Killers of the Flower Moon, Rodrigo Prieto. Best editing, Oppenheimer. Who might win? Killers of the Flower Moon. Um, somewhere between scores, cinematography, and editing, they're going to award Killers for their one award and maybe Lily Gladstone. I just don't see them doing any, any more for that film. And that would be a huge victory if it won one or two. Okay, Boy and Heron. We talked about already won Best Animated Film from the Los Angeles Film Critics Award Association and the Golden Globe. Here's Alfredo's picks. And really, it's uh, he kind of he kind of cherry picked on our picks, but you know, that's okay. And then don't forget, guys, go to the website now, leave a comment, make sure you are uh, signed up to our newsletter. You get a, a free newsletter every week, everything's free there on the latinoslant.com. Here's what he had to say. I agree with Rosanal, but also predicting that between Lily Gladstone and Emma Stone, a tie, excuse me, a tie. So he go, he, that, that is, I can't imagine that happening. Ooh. Between Lily Gladstone and Emma Stone. Wow. In regards to Polly's picks for best actor, score and cinematography, I agree. Who might win and who might will and who will win. Giamatti might win, but, but Cillian's going to win. Score, Oppenheimer, but Robbie Robertson might win. Cinematography, Oppenheimer, but Prieto might win. Society of the Snow might win, but the Zone of Interest will win. And finally, Robot Dreams might win, and the boy in the Heron will win. Well, I think you can uh, get a good taste of our picks there, guys. Uh, I want to know uh, what are your choices for this year's uh, nominees. Were any of those films, films that you love, films that you, you know, uh, got to check out from Oppenheimer, Barbie, Godzilla, to some of these fantastic animated movies. I want to know right now. Leave a comment below, and uh, we will reconvene after the 96 Academy Awards. Those are our Latino Slant Critics picks. Wherever you're at, keep your slant fuerte. Gracias.